what a nice thing. I'm filming you for posterity now. So here we are with my mate Vince after a bit of an epic climb up from Warrenora. I was going to keep it secret. Oh. <laughs> the Warrenora River in a in a secret shh location. Phil, you can bleep it out. No, it's okay. I mean, they're not going to find it anyway. To a rock art site which um would have been inhabited. Do you have an age for this one? by the Darawal people. There's a nice um, spirit kangaroo figure here up on the wall if I can get it to show up in the light. It's certainly the most dramatic uh, ochre figure I've seen in the Sydney area. Apart from your secret little wallaby. That wasn't ochre, okay. that was um, charcoal. Oh, the, the sorry, I thought you were talking about Well, yeah, the theory is that that would probably be a really old one. But, I mean, I don't know how, I don't know how reliable that notion is. We've also got a bit of a spirit figure here, drawn in charcoal. Yeah. See, I reckon... I have to zoom out to get a... One of the uh, engravings and the... Uh, Royal National Park. Yeah. That Rick took me to. He reckons it's one of the few. He reckons it's a female figure. The, Did I? No, no, no. The engraving. Oh, okay. He reckons it's a female figure. If that's true, it would be one of the very few female engraved figures in the Darawal area. But I think it's more. It has a lot more in common with uh, this figure, because see, he's pointed. So I don't know if it's a tail or a penis or what, but I mean, the engraving... Well, I was thinking the end of it looks almost like a turtle. But the engraving has that, and it's been interpreted as just, you know, a very large bolt, you know, hanging sort of labia, you know. Um, but I mean, I, I think the engraving is more like this, so I'm just... My, my interpretation is that there's a connection. <laughs> That's what I'm playing with at the moment, anyway. I mean, of course, when you're talking about people who are walking around, don't have any faster transport, there's actually a very huge difference between this and where the engraving is in the, in the, in the rural. Yeah, I remember you said when we went to one of the other charcoal sites that there was theories that this was when the Aboriginals were on the run, so they couldn't do... No, I think that's more down in uh, west of the Illawarra. Okay. West, southwest Sydney. Being, push, so, being pushed out of the, pushed out of the Sydney area. So you think these sort of charcoal figures would have been made all along? It's just they're not, they're obviously not this, meant, this, meant to well, last. So this is this. See this schema. It's. I mean, apart from charcoal being a crude medium in general, yeah. this is actually a very clear schema. It's clearly a figure. It's got a bit of infill. It's stylized, you know. The, it's not my theory about the stuff west of the Illawarra. It's a woman called Julie Dibden. She reckons that a lot of the charcoal in there is um, probably representative of people being pushed out of their traditional areas because a lot of it is just really, really, really messy. Just really no stylization. It's just really quick, really crude. But there's like... I thought those emus that we saw in Darawal were quite impressive. Well, that's what I mean. That, that would not be an example of... The, of what she's talking about. That would be quite um, stylized. And the see, this is, see, the, see the tail end of the snake? Rick reckons that's, the, that's a death adder. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. That's interesting. Because the, uh, the really huge engraving right in the middle of the national park of the huge death adder with the cat, well, there's a huge serpent engraved with um, superimposed by a kangaroo and it has a tail end like that so Rick reckons it's, um, it's uh, he reckons that the create, create a serpent for this area was probably a death adder <coughs> which, um, which is interesting so, yeah. do you want me to shut up? 
No, it's fine. <laughs> you just get to no, talk. You're like, no, 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 I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just make it so I'll film anyway. <laughs> no, you just get to talk to all my friends. So. And you know, you're doing a PhD, so you're an expert. Soon you'll have the little DR next to your name as well, so then everyone will have to take you seriously. But I mean, that is a fantastic kangaroo. Yeah. That's amazing. Beautiful. It's definitely the most obvious one that I've seen with you in Sydney. You can even see the little feet. It's just a pity the lighting, it's kind of hard for me to show the whole thing, but anyway. So there you have it, you don't have to go to Kakadu to see decent rock art.